Hello everyone, and it is time for another product review. If you are Canadian, at least, because I don't think this is elsewhere, this brand of Enjoy non-dairy milks I have seen at Metro and Food Basics. They're essentially the same company, so wherever you are in Canada, if you your store is under that umbrella that is the company with the Metro, Food Basics, whatever it is, you should be able to see this in your stores. They have almond, they have oat, I don't believe I saw soy, and I, when I saw that 50% off, they're they are $4.99, there's coupons right now for a dollar off, and this one is 50% off, and it's the unsweetened oat original, so I said let me pick that up. It has no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. For every cup, 140 calories, 5 grams of fat, 0.5 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 1.5 grams of polyunsaturated fats, and that includes, I guess, <clears throat> six, sorry, 1 gram of omega-6, 0.2 grams of omega-3, 2 grams of monounsaturated fat, 15 grams of carbs, 3 grams of fiber, 4 grams of sugar, 8 grams of protein, okay, that's a pretty good amount, 0 grams of cholesterol, 80 milligrams of sodium, 100 milligrams of potassium, 300 milligrams of calcium, 2 milligrams of iron, uh, 100 UG of vitamin A, which is 11% of your daily recommended uh, value, um, 2.5 UG of vitamin D, which is 13% of your daily recommended, 0.35 milligrams of riboflavin, 27% of your daily recommended, and it's got 1.05 UG of B12, which is 44% of your daily recommended value, and one milligram of zinc. The ingredients are an oat base, which is water and oats, pea protein, amylase, canola oil, vitamins and minerals, um, sea salt, ac acacia gum, gel and gum, natural flavor. Now I had already opened this, so but I'm going to open it again and taste it again, but first I'm going to get some into my foamer to see how it foams. I have not done that yet. So I'm going to get this on my foaming base and we're going to test that out. Okay, so I'm going to pour it. So it's a l slightly thicker. You know how some milks have a thinner consistency? It's thin but with just that slightly thicker consistency. It's the best way for me to describe it. And the taste, the, sorry, the, the color you can see, I don't know if, how well it reflects, it's definitely more of like a slight tan color, like it's not white, just slightly tan. And it really has a nice flavor. You know how some oat milks have more oat flavor? This one does, so it it feels more like pure oat milk. It doesn't feel as maybe, what do you want to call it? I don't want to say processed, but like other oat milks might be, taste less like oat milk, a little more smooth, but it's really nice. Like I like oats. If you like oats, the flavor of oats is nice. So it's good. But if you don't like something that has a little bit of a stronger flavor of oats, you're probably not buying oat milk to start with. And this one would be a bit of a stronger flavor, but like I said, I really like the flavor. It's a very good milk. They have vanilla flavors. I mean, I'm a, I would almost try their almond milk. You know me, I'm not the biggest fan, but some places do make a decent almond milk, and I like this. So now I just want to see. Like This would almost be like if you just took oats and squeezed them. But trust me, I've tried that. It's not so simple. <laughs> It is a process. Ooh, it looks like I got some good foam here. So let me take a look. Oh yeah. See that foam? Maybe what I'll do, so you see it better, is I will, oops. Sorry about that. Look at the foam. That is a nice, thick foam, and I've got like a good, ooh, cup of foam, and a bit more. So I'm going to make myself a coffee, use that foam, definitely foams nicely, and it tastes good, and if you can get it with a coupon off, or get it when it's close to being no longer uh, allegedly good, you can get it and enjoy it as I am, and that's all for now. It is called Enjoy Oat Milk. See you guys in the next video.